Good morning, everybody. Today is Saturday, August 21st, 2021. Week 142. Holy cow. I've been at Costco for three years today. Yeah, it's your costco versity. My... <laughs> right. <laughs> yeah, three years now. Yay. Yay. Well, um, let's get right into the weights real quick. Oh, she's trying to show you my meow shirt. <laughs> You know, I got all these shirts that are, this is a really big one, this is a 4X. Uh, I've got all these shirts that just don't even fit me anymore, so for fun, I just throw things on them, just goofing around. And because you can. One of the things that I do with Stacy is I always text her and I write meow, and then she responds, meow bitches. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, I don't know what, I don't even know what started it, just the emoji, there's a cat face. Right. And I used to send the cat face and I'd write meow and just goofing around and uh so yeah one day i was bored so i just made a meow <laughs> bitches shirt and uh i don't know i don't really like wear it out in public or anything but just this was the shirt in the closet today that was clean <laughs> it's a little big so i just it's have all these big, but that's okay. all these boring plain shirts and i just figure might as well throw something fun on it make everybody smile <laughs> so meow <laughs> Okay, so last week I was 338. This week, this morning, I was 338 again. So I've stayed the same. Um, I did see the doctor last week, a neuro doctor, and he wants me to keep a log for 30 days of how many times my back stabs me and how many times my leg goes numb and blah, blah, blah. And his suggestion at that point is to decide, live with it or get a cortisone shot in my back to see if it reduces the pain or that or helps. Yeah. Um, I, my biggest concern was just the healing time. The last time I fell in May, uh, it took me three to four weeks before I could actually mm -hmm. stand up and move without falling or having trouble. And that concerned me and scared me. Yeah. So um, I've had us. a couple little falls since then that I was able to recover from within a normal range, a couple days or something. And I haven't, knock on wood, uh, <laughs> fallen in a while. So um you know, he gave me the clearance. He's like, go ahead and you get back out. You do as much as you want and as much as you can and be careful. Mm -hmm. And I am. And I've still got a little a walking cane stick thing that I do grab. And you know where I always seem to fall is, is going from the house to the garage. There's like two steps. I've fallen there easily over a half dozen times. Yeah. And I don't know what it is. I, I turn that door and I go down those stairs and it's a straight shot. You don't turn or anything. But I've fallen right there over and over maybe i need to build a ramp <laughs> put a ramp right there <laughs> two stairs i can't make it down two stairs without falling i'm such a dork but anyway so there i am 338 again uh i have really tried to mentally get back in the game i just i need i need to see some change i i think there's a lot of things going on in the world and in our lives and just Mm -hmm. things get crazy and you lose focus on your your I don't know your your goals of those kind of things and then with the back injury and the the problems that I've had I've just been down and kind of turned around like mentally not focusing and getting things done and I'm working really hard on trying to get back into some of those things so because, uh, you know, the definition of insanity is doing the same thing over and over and expecting a different result. I want a different result. So I'm going to try and get back into watching my other channels. I was watching some Dr. Berg. I was watching some Dr. Barry. Uh, I've been definitely starting to go back into my own keto channels just to get some re-motivation and things of that nature. Because uh, I, I still got a while to go on this path and I'd like to continue seeing some losses. So I'm working on it. Yeah. So where are you at, Stace? <laughs> Last week I weighed in at 150. This morning I weighed in at 151. My friend came to visit me um, over a week early. I have my oldest daughter home. and um, All you girls in one house, y'all get weird <sighs> with your cycles. Oh my gosh. It was, Julia's like, Mom, I'm early. I'm like, so am I. So apparently with Lauren coming home, it's kind of... <laughs> you stirred the pot. To, apparently. So... Yeah. Um, I'm still having uh, really bad hot flashes here recently. <laughs> Stacy's been talking a lot in her sleep, and most of the comments are, "Hey, <laughs> like, what? Hey, what? Three thirty in the morning? Or I'm really hot. <laughs> I'm sorry. 
She's not even awake. She doesn't even know she's talking. So hopefully last night wasn't so bad. I actually have a I re hurt my shoulder and so I went, had to go back into the clinic and uh, they did some x rays and I'm waiting for the schedule for the MRI with a different doctor. Um, and so they gave me a, a new muscle relaxer so I can get to sleep because it's it just hurts to sleep and apparently when I take that particular muscle relaxer I'm really chatty yeah she talks a lot she talks to people at work she talks to me she talks hey she does that a lot hey hey what I don't know I don't even have an answer yeah um, and then the girls are in and out of the bathroom all night it's like go to bed sleep I say for me I can't hear any of that because oh, obviously I hear the my hearing open. loss and you know there's nobody home but us so it's like why do you have to open your door go to the bathroom open that door close that door Go open that door. Close that door again. Go back to your room. Open that door and close that door again. And they both do it. And they do it all night long. And I wake up every single time the door opens. See, I peacefully just go to sleep because I lay on my good like, ear and hear nothing out of the other ear. Like Speaking a, of, I got um, my new hearing aids. Mm -hmm. I'm not in love with them. Yeah. She got a They're new just set. very different. I think I'm going to make another appointment to see somebody, one of the other... Um, gals over at Costco in the hearing center to see if we can get them adjusted if we can yeah I mean we're, we're definitely better but um and I guess you get used to what you get used to and uh my old hearing aids came back from the repair shop, shop um last week so I've been wearing my old ones and it's like ah uh, sounds silly Matthew McConaughey I love his voice I was listening to his green lights book and I started listening to it with the old um, hearing aids on. And there are certain points I'm like, ugh, it's kind of bothering me. He, he has that, that southern drawl, so he's got that S that sometimes um, sounds very different. So then I put my new my old hearing aids back on. I'm like, that's the voice that I like. It's just, I think it's fuller sounding yeah. with my older hearing aids uh, just a different the tone of it the yeah and i got the jabra jabra enhanced pros um for the new hearing aids and jabra i mean i've never used them um but Not they're supposed cheap. to be I mean, they're yeah. decent what a two thousand dollar here well yeah ear. even the the, the uh, earbuds that they make for regular yeah music listening and like airpods regular listening. type of thing um, they sell really well. I don't know. Good reviews. I'm trying to trying to be patient because I've worn the same brand of hearing aids for the last 10, 10 12 years. And uh, so this is a newer hearing aid and maybe, I don't know, they're just not set well, well, properly. You know, going in and talking to them and telling them about the fuller sound, the, there's maybe some yeah. frequency adjustments. They can give you some bass or some mid-range or something to help balance yeah. it and give it more of a full sound or a different program. You know how there's TV or music right. or something. Maybe one of the other programs, if you flip through that when you're listening to the audiobook, might like give you a different dynamic range. Yeah, we sound. even tried like the focus streaming and then it cuts everything out behind you, but it's still not... A big difference so I don't know I'm, I'm really trying with these new hearing aids and uh, cross my fingers well. yeah me too because <laughs> because when yours broke and you had to take them in to get them replaced that was what over a week and a half yeah of no not being able to hear so having a secondary or a backup set even if they're not the greatest sounding or the same as what you're used to have some is, ears is a lifesaver <laughs> yeah. right for work and everything absolutely yeah yeah we all Lauren um, is only home for a couple more days. Yeah, we moved her from one apartment into our garage, essentially. <laughs> and it's a mess right now. And then, uh, what, about another week or so? Two, week, two, two weeks? Two days. Two, two, well, within the week, uh, she'll be moving <laughs> to her other apartment. But mm -hmm. this one's a furnished apartment, so some of the things will stay here. And then it's, yeah. it's hard for her to even know until she gets there and sees the space. See what, what she's going to need, what kind of space yeah. they have. Good um, thing is we're 15 minutes away. So it's yeah. quick trips with the car and we just load up and take another trip. We got to take advantage of it while we can. She's looking to do her PhD um, all the way either in Wisconsin or Washington. Well, it's really going to depend on, you know, it could even be Seattle or something for right. all we know. 
So mm -hmm. just cross my fingers for her on that. And I'm happy for her, but as a mama, I'm sad to see her go. It's nice well, that I've still got her right. With college, we've had her 15 minutes away here in Ann Arbor, and that's been really nice for all of us. Yes. For laundry, for sending her home with a bag of groceries, for, you know, just running her to the dentist or whatever, you know, yep. just getting her, getting her where she needs to be and hanging out, so. Oh, man, she's going to be 21 hmm. in October. Yeah, so, <laughs> so when we were talking back about the focus of the ketos and everything, uh, I've been trying to get back into watching some other keto channels for some motivation mm -hmm. as well as uh, some of the doctor channels. I've always watched Dr. Berg and Dr. Barry and stuff like that. So trying to get some new ideas and just refresh my vigor of like what can I change and do. Uh, I want to go back to shortening my windows a little. So some of these things are related to keto, but they're not exactly keto. Right. Um, just trying to get back to some windows. I used to have the mental focus for once a week I'd fast and it wouldn't even phase me. And now it just feels like, I don't know if it's the stress of the world and just all the things going on that I just don't feel like I have the willpower for it or something. Yeah, so it's different to too with both back. of the girls being home and their uh, eating habits are very different. Chaotic. Um, yeah. And they're wanting to come out here and make stuff at 1130 at night, you know. Right. And then I'm just trying, trying to tell them to go to bed. <laughs> Go to bed. So it's it's been a little bit chaotic. Things are gonna get back to normal here soon. That's what we Lauren keep goes back. To, I know. The, that's Lauren the big goes back lie. to school. Julia that's will be going lie. back to school, and uh, it's all gonna get better. That's the big lie. It's not a lie. We're gonna. It's gonna get better. I know. For me, I've got something's gotta change. My I'm all like swollen. My fingers or rings are not wanting to move on my fingers. Normally, they're swimming around and around and. Your fingers look nice today. You got what? What Didn't is I, that? Good gossip. It's called good gossip. <laughs> they look really pretty. They're red, red and sparkly. Bill calls it my um, '50s diner seat. <laughs> yeah, it reminds me of those sparkly or those Schwinn bikes. Remember yeah. <laughs> when you were a kid? They had the green sparkly yep. bike and the red sparkly bike. That's Mine is that. red. I don't know. Can you see that in the camera? I don't know. Let's see. It's pretty. I like it. It's cute. I had uh, my forbidden love on there last week. What color was that? Like like a, like a, a deep maroonish with a of course with the sparkle because you got to be sparkly. Stacy loves her little gel nails. Got, I do. My mom bought her a little UV light and yep. uh, a couple little gel nails and there's a little prep stuff that you got to do and mm -hmm. then she sticks them under there. I guess it's harder or lasts longer. I'm not sure. Than it does last longer. Um, than regular fingernail polish. That's uh, the pros of a gel it, yeah, nail? Yeah. Okay. And it's a, it's, a, it's nice that I can do them at home. I love having my nails done. I don't love pain to get my nails done. Nah, so my mother-in-law bought me the whole kit. And that's been about eight years ago. And <laughs> Still use and, it. Uh, yeah. I use it as often as I can. So it makes Good. me happy. And it makes you smile. And, it, you know, saves you, I don't know, what's nails get 25 bucks. I don't know. 50. Between, I have no idea. I think they're between 30 and 50. It depends on what you do with them. To get that done for what? Two I think weeks? the gel, yeah, it's probably closer to like to 30 or 35, but. Yeah. Now you got the kit and you can do it's it. It's free at home. It's free at home. The only thing that happens is the nail polish eventually goes bad and you got to replace a bottle of nail polish. I went, oh, good lord. <laughs> it was. Like fifteen dollars for one little bottle of nail polish, I yeah, guess. Yeah, but how many nail polish I... <laughs> applications do you get out of that's that one bottle? That's not the point. <laughs> it was still. Come on, I mean that's a good deal if it's thirty, thirty-five bucks. It Plus, really you is. feel inclined to have to give a tip too, probably. Yeah. You know, like oh, she just did my nails. I gotta give her five bucks or something. Right. Right. Yeah. Nah, I'd much rather do it myself. Well, You'll I'm do not doing your nails. <laughs> You don't want me to do your nails, trust me. You would do good if you did my nails. I don't think I want the, to go there. The lip would be out the whole time you did <laughs> Concentrating. That's not me, that's you. No, I It does all that. Um, well, let's see what else. We replaced our refrigerator. Yep. Uh, I don't know if we talked about that. No. No, because it happened last week or whatever. Got all the meats ready. He's going to make me meatballs. I, I do have meats thawing right now from the other refrigerator. I'm going to make up some a batch of meatballs, mm -hmm. which is great for our keto and great for our minds. You just sit down and have your little couple of meatballs. Yeah. And uh, 
our fridge went out, so we replaced the fridge. And it actually happened on the timing that we were supposed to go camping on our mm-hmm. little mini getaway yeah. for one night. So we didn't get to do that. We did go to the campsite to see it because it was right here by town. And it was beautiful. So we are going to reschedule it. a great site. We're going to reschedule it and we're going to go on that trip eventually. We will. I just don't know when. Mm-hmm. We have another uh, trip scheduled for September. It's just right here in Michigan. And I think it's a two-nighter. Uh, yeah. It's a meetup. So there's a bunch of other RVers and minivan people who are camping in their van and things like that. And we're going to go do that in yeah. September. And I really hope that that doesn't get canceled or something because life yeah the day we were supposed to do the camping too it was raining horribly hard and then we were expecting more rain that night so we figured the campsite would be a mosh pit of mud but it really wasn't so bad it wasn't wasn't so bad the sloping of it and and everything it just i mean the grass was wet but yeah it wasn't bad at all we could have easily done it yeah i don't know about the tent i don't know that i'd want the tent out on that right but we could easily have you know, gone in the van and slept in the van and hung out and walked around by the lake and things like that. Yep. So, but yeah, other than that, um, trying to get refocused back on keto and uh, hopefully some of that will rub off on Stace too and she'll pick up on those things and enjoy a meatball with me. And mm, I'm excited for the meatballs. Got to get my schedules back in order. Um, one of the medicines I'm on, which is really strange, gets me awake at night going to the bathroom all the time and I'm trying to get past that it's a little bit of a personal thing but it's got me going to the bathroom way more than I'm used to so I'm actually waking <laughs> up to go to the bathroom and then between the doors opening and closing and then Stacy talking to me in the middle mm-hmm. of the night I feel like I'm getting like a very broken sleep so maybe I'll put some earplugs in go yeah. to the bathroom really good and try and get like four hours straight see there if I go. can get a good night in that's the goal that's my goal yeah, but, you know, and I've been more active, been wearing my Fitbit. I've been jumping on the bike downstairs, which is something I couldn't do maybe just even half a month ago, a month ago. Yeah. Um, it's having too much pain. Every time I'd pedal, I'd feel it in that lower back, and things are getting, things are getting better. I'm feeling more confident. I'm still trying to be very careful. And right next to the door of the garage, I got that little pole that I use, the little walking stick pole. Um so I, I'm very vigilant about if I'm going up and down, I'm, I'm grabbing something, holding on to a door frame. <laughs> I'm just going slow, paying yep. attention, watching what I'm doing. I do not want to fall again. Nope. No. And, I, and I've been overall feeling a lot better. I mean, I'm not jumping on my bike and riding around the neighborhood yet, but um, hopefully maybe before the summer's over, we can. Yeah, that would be wonderful. It would be wonderful. Maybe we get Lauren back home to where... All of her things are moved enough that I can get to the bikes. To the- <laughs> I don't have to worry about anybody breaking in my garage because they have to like dig through so much crap to get to anything. <laughs> it's just, it's, it's a madhouse out there. But uh, I'm trying not to even focus on that because I know it's temporary. It is. I have to let that go and just keep working on what I can work on, which is in the house and the closets. I've been following a lot of minimalists and I've been donating and selling and giving away and getting rid of. And reducing a lot of things in the closets, in the house, upstairs, downstairs. I feel so strange that I have so many things that I need to address <laughs> and get rid of. I've taken two full van loads of guitars and guitar-related items over to a music shop in town. And he's been selling them on consignment. And then when he sells them, I, of course, give him his consignment. And then I get something back from it. And that's partially what's paid for our fridge. It's partially what paid for the shelving in the garage because we bought a big shelving unit so we could start putting some of these stored things from Lauren into the shelves. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, so it's it's been helping out with around here, things that we need. And uh, next batch that I've taken him, if I get another couple hundred bucks from it, we'll throw that towards the fridge too. Yeah. You know, we had to charge that, unfortunately. Oof. Life. Don't expect to have to replace it. We still need to replace a lot of other things. I'm out there every <laughs> week, week and a half, replacing fuses on the, the AC, which is 22 years old, and just trying to limp it through this season because the compressor is so old, when it kicks on, it blows fuse every once in a while. So the only remedy I really have is changing the fuses for now <laughs> until it doesn't work anymore. It's working. 
And I've got a capacitor for it. I can always try that if we end up losing the capacitor. Pretty handy with stuff like that. So I try and keep it going instead of having to make service calls. Yes. And uh, yeah, get the stove replaced eventually. That's another 22-year-old item. And it doesn't work right. The digital panel doesn't work right. <laughs> So if you go to push the temperature up, it sticks, and you take your finger away, and it just goes up to 500. <laughs> and then you push the down button, and it goes down to 350. <laughs> yeah, you got to sit there and go, tch, 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 tch. it's really funny. And it doesn't have the right temperature. So yeah. at 400, you burn things or you don't burn things. That's why when you see us do a review video or something or a uh, rescue <laughs> video, you're, you're always like, and your oven may vary because ours definitely varies. Yeah. Yeah. Quite a bit. But we're going to get that fixed, too. We're going to replace it eventually. We will. We will. Just a time and money thing. That's life. Real life. <laughs> we're keeping right, guys. it real. <laughs> we, uh, we are um, coming fastly on time that Stacy has to go to work. And we have babbled for a while now. So we will let you all go and enjoy your weekend. And we hope your keto journey is going well. And uh, hopefully we can start seeing some changes in the next few weeks if yeah. We keep working at it, and you guys keep working at it. Maybe we can all succeed together. That's the hope. That's the plan. That's the plan. That's the prayer. Yes. Bye, guys. <laughs> Bye. See you later. Yeah.